In this video, we are going to see how to connect our Node.js to the MongoDB, which is a backend. So, as you can see that we have created our post, get, update and delete APIs and after that implemented them in our Flutter application. So, if you don't know how to create these APIs and implement it to your Flutter application, you can watch our previous videos in this playlist and after that you can connect it with the actual backend and we are using mongodb for example you can use mysql if you want so watch this video till the end so that you won't miss any step and if you are new to the channel consider subscribing and press that bell icon so you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded so let's start okay so here is our index.js and now First, we were just creating this list in which we were adding the data and doing all these operations on this data. But now we want to connect our Node.js to the actual backend. So how to connect? First of all, we need to go to our website, which is our mongodb.com slash atlas. And in here, you need to sign in or sign up. So if this is your first time on this website, you need to sign up. So just click on this try free. And after that you need to enter your details here and after that click on this agree and create your account so it will create your mongodb atlas account so after entering all your details it will send an email to your email address and after that you need to verify so after that you can click on this continue and this is our setup screen so we need to do some setup here so first of all what is your goal today so i just want to build a new application and after that what type of application are you building so i'm just building a mobile application and what is your preferred language so the language will be our node.js so where is our okay so it is javascript selected just continue so now they are saying if you want a serverless and advanced dedicated or a free so i will go with the free one and click on this create and now we need to create a cluster cluster means in which we will save all the data so now after that we need to select the provider and region so you can select any of these as you can see that it's saying i am from the mumbai as mumbai is the nearest server so you can select google azure or aws so i will select this aws and after that i will select this mumbai server you can select any of these and after that click on this create cluster and after that you need to verify it so all the traffic lights okay okay so here is our cluster being created so now we need to create a user for our login so using which we can log into this so the name of our user will be baba devs and after that we need to enter a password so it will be okay so just create user okay so this is our username and this is our password and if you want to edit or remove you can do it okay so after that we need to say where would you like to connect from this is my local environment and this is my cloud environment so here it says only an IP address you add to your access list will be able to connect to your project cluster. So as we are just testing it, I will enter my IP address here. So it is 192.168.1.104. So to confirm it, I need to go to the CMD and in here IP config and this is our IP address. So just copy it, close and paste it here and this is our home IP okay so add entry now I can only access this mongodb atlas using this IP address so okay as this is added finish and close so here is our cluster and you can see this is our cluster 0 which is online so if this is not active you have to wait for it so when it turns green means it is active 
and after that we need to click on this connect so we can get a string from here using which we will connect so connect to your application and just click it and now we need to select the driver as we are using node.js so it will be node and after that we need to select a variant so it will be 4.1 or later so here is our string using which we can connect to this mongodb and as you can see we need to replace the password field means this with the password we used for the user baba devs the one we created okay so just copy this you can also copy from here and after that you need to go to your code and in here i will just paste it and comment it so i will use it later so after that as you can see this says current ip address not added so just add our current tick and now we can access this and we are good okay so go back to your code and in here to use the mongodb we need to install a package so in here let's expand it so in this node server we need to install our npm i mongoose so this is the package we need to install so just press enter and it will start downloading it and now you have to wait for its completion so here is our mongoose installed and now we can use it for that we need to go to the top after this express we can say const mongoose and it will be equal to require and in here we need to pass mongoose so we can use it and after that let's just cut all this and paste it at the bottom of these apis so that everything loads before loading the server okay so save it and after that we need to connect so for that we need to say let's comment it connect to mongoose and in here we need to use our mongoose and after that dot connect and in here we need to pass a string so this is our string just copy this and paste it here and after that we need to pass our callbacks so the callbacks will be in the form of map so in this map we need to say use unified topology and it will be true let's just set it as this okay so after that we need to use our second so this will be our use new url parser and it will be also true so just save it and now we need to replace the password field with the password of my user which is baba devs so the password is admin 123 and just save it and now we can try to connect so just clear everything okay so after connecting this let's just also pass a method so it will be our request and response so we can see what happens to this when connect so we can say console.log and in there let's say status and the status will be our we can say connected to mongoose okay save it and let's try to run this so we need to say node index.js and here you can see we are getting some deprecations so that the mangoes the strict query option will be switched back to false by default in mangoes use this if you want to prepare for this change or use this to suppress this warning okay so as you can see that we are connected to the server and after that we are also connected to the mongoose to remove this deprecation warning just copy this and after that before connecting you can paste it and just save it close this server clear and let's try to run again index.js and now there is no deprecation warning and we are connected to our mongoose
And after that, we can also install another package so that we won't have to close and restart our server again and again. As you can see, after every change, we need to close this server and run it again so that we can see the new changes. So to remove this thing, we can install another package, which is our npm install. And this is our nodemon and just press enter. So it will install this package. And now we won't have to just close and restart our server again and again. We will just save it and our server will be restarted automatically with the new changes. We just wait for the completion and here it is completed. And after installing our node mode, we need to go to this packages.js and in this script we need to pass start and it will be our for node mode and the file we want to start. So it will be our index.js and also add a comma here and just save so now instead of typing node index.js we can simply type npm start enter it and now you can see that we are just connected to the server so if i just make any changes for example instead of this i want to say console.log and i want to say that connected save it so you can see without restarting we can see this updated value which is connected okay so this is how you can connect your node.js to the mongodb so that's it for today in the next video we will just attach these post get update and delete apis to the mongodb so we can use these apis to post some data get some data update and delete some data in our backend so see you in the next one Till that, Allah is.